Hey everybody, this video brings me and John on this snowy day, snowy, windy, very cold day where the weather is about to get really, really bad any minute now. Out to Potts Town, Potts Grove? Potts, we're, Potts. we're in one of the many, North the North many North. towns in Pennsylvania with the with the first name of, of Potts, with the first last name of Potts. Anyway, we're here to check out the Liberty Ministry Thrift. This is the one where um, I don't, I don't find a lot of stuff that I usually strike out at this store. I've, I I think the last like three or four times I've been here, I want to say I found very little to nothing. If you guys remember correctly, look at the, look at the scooters. Should we, should we rock some scooters? Ooh, yes. Did you, did you ever have like a Razor scooter? I did not. I used to have one back in the day. So I'd do tricks on it and all kinds of fun stuff, even though I was way too old for a scooter because those things became popular when I was like in my 20s. So I was way too old to be rocking a uh, rocking a scooter. But I, I had one. Look at, the, look at the toboggan. That's awesome. Oh, $125. But I mean, it is vintage. That's cool. That's what I want right there. I'd break that. Reminds me of Kevin McAllister from Home Alone when he goes down the stairs and out the front door. That's oh, yeah. awesome. And then he gets to the very end and he just goes, ugh, and just falls over. <laughs> That's like the funniest scene of the whole movie. It's just when he goes, ugh, it just falls over. Anyway, so like I said, I don't really find very much of this store. It's usually, I would say hit or miss, but it's honestly mostly a miss for me. But you never know. We were in the area. I figured, why not check it out? They've got movies here. They've got toys here. Power positivity. I'm gonna find something. Ugh. All right, here we go. So normally the movies are just all right here on these uh, displays, which as you can see, they are still on these displays. There's quite a lot of movies here we have to look through, which is awesome, but they've also got bins and tubs and whatnot full of movies. There's a lot to look through here. This is, all right, we're gonna be in here for a little while because we got some, we've got some digging to do. I mean, I'm seeing things like Charmed and Mad Men and the newlyweds. So John's over here finding all the Blu-rays. What'd you find? Some Deadpool, Beautiful Creatures. Uh, I haven't seen this yet. The Immortal Instrument, uh, City of Bones. I have like a special like box of that. I haven't I haven't watched it yet. Uh, Fallen Our Stars, Wolf of Wall Street. That's a good one. Les Mis. I actually haven't watched that yet either. Rio mm -hmm. without artwork. Twenty One. And uh, that's that's awesome. About last night. Do I have this on Blu-ray? Mm. I don't know if I have this on Blu-ray or not. Mm. That that's pretty cool. That's a great, fantastic eighties movie. I got the double. Wait, do you, I mean you found it first? Do you need this? do oh but but what but but like christmas spirit and stuff <laughs> i probably already have it on blu-ray i said christmas spirit didn't i it it goes it goes to you okay christmas here then it goes to you see i'm, I'm being nice the of the wild, what chimpanzees. <gasps> dude i've been looking for this oh my okay actually that's a lie i have not been looking for that at all all right, so I looked it up, and it turns out I actually do not have about last night on blu-ray i only have it on dvd are you sure you don't want this positive stranger safety all right well you you walk away from we're not strangers we're we're best buddies right, right that's right i mean any anybody who would hand over about last night on blu-ray to me is definitely Listen, a best buddy about last night don't don't touch me so john just got excited about something what did you find here hannibal manhunter and the sounds of the nice land. all right so like a hannibal Lecter collection there that's that's pretty cool you think about picking that up possibly you should definitely grab that anything good over over here yeah, just Literally. Not nothing. Maybe possibly so, something. No. Yes. No. Maybe. 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 The greatest moments in Western Pennsylvania sports history. Mm. An extremely specific mm -hmm. VHS tape. Wow, that is. For your holiday. You know, I was looking for Eastern Pennsylvania oh, sports history. Yeah. Gosh darn it! Oh, so, so close. Seriously, that is very I'm really oddly going with the wind on that one. <laughs> <laughs> oddly specific. Anyway, R really, you tried. Oh. You, you, you tried. We're doing our best now at trying to dive through all the bins, but it's not the most easiest of tasks because unfortunately it's not just like DVDs in one bin and books in another and CDs in another. It's just books, CDs, DVDs, all kinds of media just all thrown in the bins all together. So it's a little, a little difficult to dig through these, but I'm finding some interesting things. I'm, I'm tempted to pick up stuff like Spencer's Mountain. I've never seen this movie, but it's still brand new factory sealed. I mean, it's, it's not a movie I would just immediately add to my movie collection, but I would I'd be willing to pick this up and, and check it out. It's also for Christmas, the the house without us without a Christmas tree. I've heard of this story, but I've never actually seen this movie. It's also extremely tempting to pick this one up as well. I mean, I'm thinking for two bucks, maybe I should grab this and and see if they're any good. Right? I I have such a large pile of stuff I need to watch before I decide whether or not it goes into my collection or or, or doesn't go into my collection. I don't need to be adding more to that, but I'm thinking I might be adding two more titles to that pile now.
this is kind of a shame. I actually probably would have picked this up from the store because I actually already have this in my collection in a Dolomite box set, but this is, um, well, Dolomite. That is awesome. I've never seen this release before, but unfortunately, no disc inside. Yeah, that is a shame. For, for the store, I definitely would have picked this up for only $2, but... Um, that disc, obviously, I'm going to be passing on that. You find anything at all over here, John? Uh, what do you, what do you, what's in your hand there? You got, you got some more stuff. Jersey Girl, okay, and some, some Gears of War. So, all right, so you're, you're, boxes. you're finding some. I know this is, this is a mess. This, this is a disaster. This, but my knees aren't. I know the, the, the old man of me is just like, eh, I don't want to, I don't want to dig through all these bins. But you know what? I'm probably gonna dig through all these bins. The problem is, there's nowhere to put the the discs like once you put them out of the bins it's like there's not they, they need to have just like an empty bin i can put more discs into yeah this is this is not easy this is this is work today we're actually being put to work today to look for, for the movies and you know what the worst part is probably not gonna find anything we want hey good news i think i didn't just jinx us because we actually are finding some interesting things in here like well for instance some criterion of the curious case of benjamin button pretty common criterion but still pretty cool to see do you need this at all no, possibly. Maybe. That is a maybe. but then you're possibly oh, maybe no. pile there. I'm finding something I think I possibly maybe need. That's Mortal Kombat Legends, Scorpion's Revenge. I think they did like two or three of these movies and I have like one of them, not this one. I actually thought I did have this one, but I looked it up. It's not on any of my list. So I think I actually need that for my collection. I'm also thinking about grabbing this as well. Berenstein Bears and Too Much Junk Food. My son already has this. He does collect Berenstein Bear books and uh, this is one he has in his collection, but this was my all time, like, what, one of my all time favorite books when I was a kid. So I'm thinking I just want this for, for me, actually. It's in really good, like minty condition. I think I have to pick this up just for the nostalgia of wanting to have that. I don't know, put it in the library somewhere, put it on a shelf or something. So, all right, I'm finding a little, a little pile of stuff here I want to pick up. It, it paid off. By the way, it's like a blizzard outside right now. The, the snow is definitely coming down now. The weather outside is frightful. It's terrifying right now outside. So um, we, we may or may not make it, make it home alive. So, so maybe these at some point will make it into my collection. Maybe. I think I actually just found a VHS tape I have to pick up for our friend Mike. Look at this, Mr. Rogers home video, dinosaurs and monsters. I mean, when it comes to, to Mike, it's all he's all about the sharks, the monsters and the dinosaurs. I mean, this is, this is perfect for him. He's gonna lose his mind, or think we're compl or, or think we have lost our mind when we pick this up for him. Yeah, I'm, I'm grabbing that. He need, he needs this for his collection. Look at that. Is that a, is that a dinosaur or a monster right there? That's a, a, oh. Oh, wait. What's coming out of his his throat? Oh. What's happening there? Mm. That just it's like an evil. It looks like an evil purple face coming out of his throat. That is so weird. Walking into a on wonderland. on this episode of Mr. Rogers Neighborhood, children get terrified. That is creepy. You know what? He's getting that. That is weird. And now I, I kind of want to watch it. What's the purple thing coming out of his I mean, throat? Yeah. It's weird. It's weird. Hold on. Here's an awesome find. DuckTales the movie Treasure of the Lost Land. This being the old Disney Movie Club exclusive release. That is really, really cool. I want to say they eventually did release it in stores in a non-movie club exclusive release, if I'm not mistaken. But this is still really awesome for two bucks. This is a minty condition. This would definitely be worth, I think, picking up for the, for the store, even though I'm trying not to grab as much stuff for the store nowadays. But still... The disc is completely mint. So, all right, yeah, I'm thinking for for two bucks, I'm gonna have to pick that up. You don't need this, do you? No, I'm good. All right, then yeah, I think, I'm thinking for, for two dollars, I'm, I'm buying this for uh, for the store. But we still, have, we still have so much digging to go. There's still, whoa, whoa, that's cool. There's no there's no figment on it though, is there? No figment. No, no figment. That's still pretty awesome. Though. I'm, I'm loving it with the Sebastian and the Tinker Bell and the the Jiminy Cricket. Yeah, there's a lot of cool characters on here. When's this from? It's from uh, I guess around the, the turn of the century, right around the Millennium Celebration. Millennials? <laughs> don't need that. What I also don't need is all these bins that we still have to go through. This is still going to take a while. I don't know if I caught it on camera, but as, as I said, this is still going to take a while. I just, I turned the corner and noticed there's another bin of movies right there. Did we, we didn't look at that yet, did we? Ah, uh, this is, yeah. The light, the light for me. This is, is going to take a while. Okay, so um, just dove through this whole bin right here, and I'm finding something pretty awesome. All seven seasons, the complete series of Gilmore Girls, still brand new, factory sealed. I technically don't need these because I do already have the entire series of Gilmore Girls because it's one of the greatest, no, the greatest TV show ever made. I love this show so much. My my copies are are in pretty minty condition, but I got my copies used. I actually got them off my wife. My wife got me into this show. She had this when we when we first started dating. She had the show on DVD. She had she, I didn't have them in my collection. She had them in her collection at her parents' house. And then eventually we moved in together, and they they became my my DVDs out of my collection. But they're like 
they're, they're minty, but they're not 100% absent. That's awesome, Walker, Texas Ranger. I, I have that too. But they're not like perfectly minty. These are still all brand new factory sealed. I'm thinking if they, if they only charge me two bucks a piece for these, I don't know if they're going to, but if they only charge $2 a piece, I mean two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. For, why did I do that? Uh, two, two, two times, two times seven, $14. I'm thinking for $14, I might want to pick up like minty, 100% never been opened copies of Gilmore Girls for my collection. And then I'll give, I'll give the other DVDs back to my wife. She can, she can have them back. That, yeah, I'm thinking for, for two bucks a piece, if, if that's what they charge me, I'm buying those. And just like that, everything I picked up today has been completely paid for because when I picked up those Gilmore Girls to put them over there into my pile, I realized I laid them on top of this, a copy of Wii Sports. If I'm not mistaken, this still sells for a little bit of money. This is this is kind of a popular one. I don't know why. It was, it was packaged with the Wii. I think it doesn't go for anything, but no, this this still sells for a bit of money and it still has its its packaging and everything. In fact, I just sold a loose disc of this for like, I think like 20 something dollars just recently. So this one here is complete with manual and everything. Let's see what condition the disc is in. It's in, I mean, it's not great, but I think the other one I had was actually in worse condition than that. So, all right, I'm thinking for um, prob probably, probably $2. I'm, I'm buying that and I'm paying for that whole entire pile right there. Yeah, good day. Okay, so this is actually turning out pretty amazing. I know I said that this store is usually is usually pretty pretty much a miss for me, but today is actually definitely a hit. So much of a hit that I'm going back outside. Oh boy, oh boy. Luckily, it's not sticking to the ground yet. We actually need to hurry up before it does start sticking to the ground. But anyway, I'm coming back outside because I'm grabbing I'm grabbing a cart. We actually need a cart. I'm finding so much stuff that we need some more some more power of positivity here. Yeah, I'm, all right. So I'm. I'm happy we came in here. See, this is why I always tell you guys, you, you might think, okay, this, this store doesn't usually have anything. You know, this store doesn't have anything. I usually come in here and find nothing, but you, see, you, you, never, you never know. That one day you come in could be the day where you find all the amazing deals, like today, where I'm finding a bunch of amazing deals. I'm thinking though, that is going to do it for the media. I'm not seeing anything else. We did actually dive through every single one of those bins. We got on, we got on our knees, we got down and dirty, and we, oh, wait, what? What am I saying? We got I'm not even on. <laughs> so we went through all the bins here and we did find some pretty cool stuff. It was definitely worth going through, but now we're gonna go through all the, the toys and the, ooh, the Christmas ornaments. Look at this one here. This is a, um, a Walt Disney World one. That is awesome. 350, see, here's the thing. I don't want I don't want anything else in here. I just I just want that one amazing Disney ornament. That's a shame. I wonder if they would just sell that to me for like a dollar. Should I, should I ask? I might. I might see if they'll just sell me that one ornament for a dollar. I really, I really want that Walt Disney World ornament. That is actually really, really awesome. And what is this here? Lighted snowman ornament. Wow, that is awesome. That is pretty cool for seven fifty. See, I, I'm not gonna grab it for the store or anything, but I kind of, I want, I want that for me. Where, where would I put this? I don't even know. That is awesome. I think they call it an ornament. Like you would never hang that on a tree. Maybe an outside, I guess an outside tree, right? So you would hang it up on your. It's a really big tree. You'd hang it on your evergreen that you have outside your house. That is awesome. Mm. That is so cool. That is tempting, but I just, I just want that one, that one little ornament right there. They're probably not gonna sell it to me, but I want it. We're diving into all the toys now, and right away I'm actually finding something pretty amazing. It's the Dream and Lace, not not Dream and Dream and Lace Barbie from 1992. Look at that outfit. That is amazing. Look, look at her like stockings. Oh, yeah. She's got rock in there. That is actually really really awesome. And for a moment I kind of freaked out because I mean a 1992 Barbie in box in like really good condition. I was gonna pick this up for the store, but um, they're charging $15 for this. The only downfall with this location is they tend to look up prices on stuff. I'm pretty sure whoever runs this place or whoever prices stuff, they go on they go on places like eBay and they look up the pricing and they price stuff accordingly. So this is cool, this is amazing. I mean, I'm sure somebody out there would want this, although they, they put tape all over it. So they probably actually ruined this, but anyway, for $15 with, with tape all over it, I'm gonna have to pass, but man, I was dreaming of I was dreaming of some in lace, and I'm not I'm not getting any in lace today. They have a couple Funko Pops here. Look at that! Wow, twenty dollars and fifty cents for the Betty Cooper Funko Pop. What? What? It, there's no way that that's worth that. Here's a Kingdom Hearts Donald for thirty dollars and fifty. I, I thought we were in, I thought we were in a thrift store. What what? Thirty dollars for a Kingdom Hearts Donald. Maybe that's what it goes for. But I mean, again, we're in a thrift store right now. Fifteen dollars for the for the the Archie and the, the Kevin from Riverdale. Uh, <laughs> Thirty dollars. Yeah. Thirty dollars, huh? Th Thirty bucks. No. 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 Uh. -uh. 
Again, something kind of priced, I guess, accordingly. $7 for this Bo Peep. I have a friend who's really into Bo Peep, and I would have grabbed this for her for, I guess, maybe Christmas or something. But I don't know. The, the box is not 100% minty. It's not in the, the best of conditions. I just... $7 for that. Now I'm kind of scared as to how much they're going to charge you for my Gilmore Girls. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're charging $30 for Pops and $7 for, for little action figures. Oh. I'm a little nervous right now. And of course, as per usual, it wouldn't be a trip out to a thrift store without me going through all the Christmas stuff and tempting myself by wanting to buy all the Christmas stuff. I'm seeing so much interesting things here. There's there's definitely some cool Christmas items that are that are tempting me. I love all just the, the cool retro stuff. There's more like Christmas ornaments down here. Ooh, wait a minute, hold on. Are these, are these all Disney? No, there's just, there's again, there's one Disney Christmas ornament in here. I, can I just take all the Disney Christmas ornaments and then put, put them all into a bag? Why don't they just put all the Disney ornaments together? Look at this. It's a Christmas Christmas 1990. Look at that with uh, Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto there at the, at the tree sale. That's a really cool ornament. I mean, I like the Walt Disney World one better, but that's still pretty awesome. What is this? Oh, gosh. What? What the heck? Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that, is, that is creepy. Does his eyes move or something? What does this do? I don't know. That is, that is so weird. And he did say... He did something at one point. I think his, like, it makes you wonder, did his eyes light up? Did he, did, like, did he blow smoke or something out of, I'm sorry, probably, like, um, like, much. warm, warm breath out of his, out of his mouth. That is creepy. That is, that is terrifying. And you know what? Honestly, I kind of like it. I'm not really finding much over here in the electronics section, though I do keep getting excited for brief seconds because I keep coming across these pretty awesome CD, DVD, multi-disc changers. These are awesome, but I keep thinking, <gasps> A laser disc player. I, they all they always fool me every single time, and they actually have a couple of them here that keep fooling me. So unfortunately, no no laser disc players today. Though I could pick up a a fifteen dollar Sony DVD player with no remote. Probably gonna end up passing on that. Is this Blu-ray or DVD? What is what is this here? That's that is DVD. Also, wait, hold on. Is this DVD or Blu-ray? Because they're asking are they asking forty five dollars for this. Why? That is. It better be the it better be the best darn DVD player in the world for forty five dollars. I don't think that's blue. I think that's DVD. Yeah, it's just DVD. Wow, forty five dollars for a DVD player, guys. Again, did I did I mention I'm getting kind of nervous about how much they're gonna charge me for my Gilmore Girls? Because for for forty five dollars, yeah. I just came up with a brilliant idea. I found the greatest thing here for anybody out there who is either a wine connoisseur, wants to pretend they're a wine connoisseur, or maybe a you just don't like wine, but you want people to think that you like wine. Check this out. It's a whole bunch of wine corks. That's pretty awesome for like $5.50. I know the, the popular thing to do with, with wine corks is to collect them. You you take them off the, the wine bottles from every bottle of wine you've drank and you put them in a container or some kind of like, I've seen things you like hang on the wall where you put all your cork, 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 corks in your wine your i was gonna say cork caps or not cork caps or not cork your your wine bottle cork toppers inside of i don't drink i have no idea what i'm actually talking about right now but what i'm trying to say is if you just want people to to, to be impressed by you you just buy this for five dollars and fifty cents put them all in like a, a glass container and say yes look at all the wine i've drank over the years i am such a wine connoisseur when it comes to wine i know my wine see that's brilliant idea or maybe i'm just crazy because again i don't drink and i have no idea what i'm talking about what's that she's she's pretty gone with the wind that's awesome you're gonna grab that no and you know what nah i don't, I don't give it i don't give a damn <laughs> that, was a, that was a good one all right so i'm thinking we're just about done here at liberty thrift and good because it's still snow and it looks like it's actually coming down even harder now so we should probably get out of here before we actually get snowed in although i can think of worse things than being snowed in at a liberty snow thrift. we're gonna call this one snowed in at the thrift store i, I like that anyway how to go through all the bags didn't see anything over here, but I always have to look at the bags now at Liberty Thrift because this is where I've, I've found some like vintage, uh, like Lisa Franken stuff. And I, I've uh, Fra Frank, Franken stuff. Frankenstein. Sounds like Frankenstein. I have found some vintage Lisa Frank. I have found some vintage Disney. I, I found those, that amazing um, uh, Millennium Falcon popcorn bucket at a Liberty Thrift. So I'm always having to check the bags at Liberty Thrift and other thrift stores as well. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is we're done. We're out of here. That's that's enough. It's um, it's snowing. Let's go find out what our what our damage is, and hopefully it's not it's not too bad. Okay, so yeah, that is gonna do it for Liberty Ministry Thrift. And oh my gosh, I'm so happy we decided to brave the blizzard today. Actually, it looks like it's maybe dying down. Is it? Is it? I can't tell if it's dying down or or getting worse. I have no idea. But again, completely worth it because I just paid twenty dollars for all that stuff. That was an amazing deal. They only charged me. 
I don't know why, they only charged me a dollar a piece for those Gilmore Girl seasons. They didn't even charge me $2. They charged me $2 for all the other movies, but only a dollar a piece for the Gilmore Girls. I don't know why, but I'm not complaining. I ended up getting that ornament. They charged me 50 cents for it. So yeah, picked up a lot of awesome stuff again for a total of $20 worth. Worth the blizzard, worth the, worth the snow, worth the, worth the wind, it's, it's crazy. Anyway, oh my gosh, we're, we're done though, because it's, it's getting nuts out here right now. We gotta go home before, again, we get snowed in, or before the roads get horribly dangerous. Apparently there's like a, a cold front coming through, or the weather This is the cold front. It, do, it doesn't really cold, it's yeah, everything, everything's gonna freeze any moment now, so we should probably get home. Oh my, oh my gosh. So as always guys, Thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure we, be sure, be sure we, be sure you hit that like button. I'll, I'll hit the like button. You hit the, you hit the like I'll button. Hit the like we'll hit the like button. You hit the like button. We'll hit the like button. Everybody's gonna hit. You get to hit the like button. You can hit the like button. We're all gonna hit the like button. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. So hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. My nose is already like run. Oh no, it's snowing on my nose. <laughs> So check down below, links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Southern Mystic. This story came from Southern Mysticness. Also check down below for my second channel, Retro Rest Up for Fun Daily Ventures. Ooh. And check down below for a link to Summer Bowl. And I will see you guys in the next video if we actually make it home. If we don't die. Oh my gosh. All right. See you next video. Bye.